Good day! Welcome back to Let's Play Hybrid Heaven. This is Umbaklo, and in the last update we explored a little bit more of the bioweapon uh, factory, but we didn't really see anything new and exciting. Um, it was mostly just Johnny getting his face pounded in quite a bit. Alright, well, but let's see if we can do a little better than that this time. Yeah. Oh, come on. Ah, yeah, way to go, game. Knocked it down in such a way that I was flung backward. I was turned around the other way. Ah, oh well. Okay, so it looks like I gotta go up this elevator here. Hmm, another set of barriers. Let's see what we got in here. So it probably means that there isn't an enemy encounter in here, because they don't normally put, don't normally put uh, chests and enemies in the same room. I think it does something weird to their, uh, to their battle system, if there's, op if there's obstacles like that in the way. Oh, here we go. Oh, and there's more chests. Thing back there. All right, so let's just go up the next elevator. Uh, another set, another barrier. And here we got. Aha. Uh, Yeah, this guy again. That his bar charges fast. Oh, come on. Use up my combo points right now. Cover. Um, you know, I think that may actually be the only 
wrestling move in the game that is actually given its typical wrestling name. But then again, it might just be because there's really no other way to describe it. Alright, so there's a key card door here, but the orange barrier generator. Well, that's good. I'll, I'll have to come back here at another point then. And there's nothing back there, so let's just head up the elevator again. yellow barrier there, but a green... green generator here. If I remember correctly, green was on the first floor, which means we gotta go all the way back down. Backtracking. Yep, this is as exciting as it gets. So there's a yellow, and there's a chest over here. That's good. So now we'll go all the way back up to the very top floor. back at the top. So back here past the barrier we have a chest. Let's see, in here we have a fight. Oh, it's this guy again. I'm all right with him wanting to leap all the way over to the other end. This gives me more time to charge up my charge up my stamina. Okay, and counter attack. Nice. 
Oh, he's probably got almost no HP right now, but... Well, I'm not going to take the chance. I'm going to charge up. Oh. I got too close. But not close enough. Okay, so here we have, is there anything in this linking room? Nope. Uh. Oh, there, I think. I think. I think. Yep, there he is. Ah, it's just another one of these pinatas. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to be getting much out of him if I keep hitting him for that much. Yeah, it's just he's only got like 300 or 400 hit points. Alright, so let's go back to the other side. I didn't even see that. Save point, and we got a key card updater. Alright, um, let's update my key. And I could make this one another short update, but I think I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna save, rest, and then continue on. Uh, let's try to get a little further. See how far how far I can go. I don't think it's going to be too much further. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think the next save point is going to be too much further ahead. So this should probably only make it into a normal sized um, update. <laughs> Alright, so now we got the key card. We just go down one level and go through that one key door.
Seriously though, I don't get what's with these weird bendy corridors. It just doesn't seem to make any sense. Like, why? Why do these why do these exist? Why does this make a complete U-turn for no reason? from here. Lock in the door, Johnny. Oh, this is this guy. That's fine. Uh, it's another time for me to just sit back and let my power fill up. This is a nice long room too, so I have plenty of space in order to, in which to uh, in order to put between us. After a brutal beatdown like that, I don't think I'm going to need another full set, but eh, like I said before, I it's better safe than sorry. There we go. fight. Oh, quaint. Well, that won't really help him too much. Oh, Johnny, stop running into the guy. My goodness. now. Oh nice, and it knocked him out too. Probably should have went and used the soccer ball kick, but eh. I'll just let my power charge up. No, it's not what I wanted to do. Here, though. Here. 
Oof, right in the head. Yeah, I like the soccer ball kick. Back when I was, uh, back when I first beat the game, um, one of my, one of the things I like to do a lot in the, uh, end of the game was to, um, oh, I got a little disoriented, which way am I going? I'm pretty sure this is the way. One of the things I like to do was knock the enemy out using pile driver, uh, and then, well, it would be, I would charge up, because I would be using, I would want to use my, uh, five hit combo, but I would eventually, the, the, the enemy would eventually grab me, so I'd use Pile Driver. I'd knock them out, and then I'd soccer ball kick them five times, uh, four times in the head, which usually did just as much damage, if not more, than using my combo. So, hey, you, you can't beat that. Ah, Johnny. This will hit. I don't know if he's just invisible or phased. Oh, he's just invisible. That's good. Perfect. Johnny. Come on, come on. It's right there. It's right there in front of you. Alright. So, and here we have a save point. Excellent. Okay. So this is going to be the end of this update. Um, well, so, uh, once again, this has been Mboglo, and thank you all for watching. I uh, hope to see you again next time. Have a good day.